Yeah, watch. come out fossil hunting today and when I get home we'll do what I usually do and show one of my favourite fossils. So let's hope we get some good stuff. I can already see there's quite a few people on the beach. That's not a problem, we're still gonna go down and have a look. There's usually something to be found. It's been quite poor tides recently. Quite a lot of the footprints that we can see along the beach. We've probably been here a few days. Oh, there's a little ammonite there though. Seems like everyone's walked past that one. It's an ammonite imprint. Up there. Little shell next to it. That looks pretty nice. Just leave that one there though, where it is. tiny outer whirl of an ammonite right there. A little freshly exposed bellum night. That actually looks pretty nice. I'm tempted to take that one. Problem is it's covered in well it's been left to dry out quite a while in the sun so it's cracked quite a lot. But that's nothing that some super glue or something similar can can't fix. Hmm. Try and keep that if I can. So let's head on now further up the beach, check out that little fall up there. As well as the beach all the way along. Let's have a look over these stones up here. I did pick up this little ammonite. Hopefully this one breaks better than the previous one. I really need to look up on my ammonite names. That's a nice one. See anything inside? Oh, it's mostly actually there, that fossil. Looks just like the outer world from the outside. It's got these little nodes on it as well, as you can see, very subtly. There's been one in there as well. So still there's quite a few nice fossils around here. More than I expected. I actually didn't <laughs> expect to find much, much at all, maybe one or two things.
part of a much bigger ammonite if you compare it to the likes of that. This is from a Hildoceros, or a type of Hildoceros at least. Probably would have been around six inches across this one. You can see those lovely suture patterns across the bottom. Look a little bit like leaves. Very nice. Looks lovely. I think it's unlikely, but you never know. And then it's this ammonite. Well, broken open straight away, so <laughs> moment of truth. Ah, oh, and it's empty. A few little fossil shells. But that's all that's inside this nodule. This one. Alright, here we go. Hopefully it's opened pretty well, better than the ammonite earlier. So similar to the previous ammonite, it hasn't been very well preserved. Usually we get, you know, maybe a couple of these per hunt and it just so happens that the two we found were these two. Now we're going to get off back home and get out the fossil crocodile jaw. And also I'll show what a really good quality ammonite looks like when you open it. Here we have the next one we're going to break open. This is the one that was really golden around the edge. So let's hope this opens pretty easily. It's got a few cracks in it, so. Yeah, on the other side as well. So yeah. we're pretty confident with this one. I mean, if you're going to find an ammonite nodule to break open, these are the ones where at least half the ammonite's exposed. I think we'd be very, very unlucky if we don't get like a fine specimen of an ammonite out of this one. These nodules are so fresh they're just getting away from us but excellent perfect they do not come any better than that that's absolutely perfect it's a beautiful specimen yeah very pleased with this one yeah so here it is That was the view of the jaw itself. Now we're going to show a couple of the vertebrae which we found with the beast. Unfortunately, those vertebrae were the only other bones that we found with it. We were, of course, hoping to find quite a lot more of the creature, but at least we got what we did and saved it from being destroyed by the sea, as it very quickly would have done if we didn't find it this quickly. Other than the jaw, the only part of the beast that we found with these two vertebrae. The rest of the bones must have all washed away, unfortunately. Often happens due to erosion by the tide and things like that. But nonetheless, very pleased with this. One of my favorite finds. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.